If you love scallop potatoes, this recipe is for you. Scallop potatoes just got easier. My name is Carrie with EatingOnADime.com and we're making Crock-Pot scallop potatoes. I love it because your slow cooker does all the work for you. You can get the full recipe linked in the description below or just go to EatingOnADime.com and you can search scallop potatoes for all our delicious recipes. Oh, and if you love crock pot recipes, make sure you check out our slow cooker cookbook bundle. It's 75% off right now, and I have that linked below as well. Let's get cooking, friends. In a medium-sized mixing bowl, we are going to mix in one cup of heavy cream, a quarter cup of chicken broth, minced garlic. I like to use pre-minced garlic, but you can mince your own garlic. And then we're going to add in salt and pepper. Remember, you can get the full recipe with all of the amounts linked in the description below. that is combined well we are then going to set this aside while we get our potatoes ready so now I'm going to go ahead and begin to peel my potatoes I'm using a um, obviously a peeler my garbage bowl this is just a regular bowl so I can put my peels inside a nice potato peeler and a cutting board I have all of these linked in the description below today we're going to use russet potatoes but honestly any kind of potato will work I just like russet potatoes because they tend to hold up a little bit better when you're making scallop potatoes I am peeling my potatoes today, but you can leave the peels on for this recipe. Just make sure you wash and dry those potatoes really well before you slice them. Now the peeling might take a little bit of time, but it's worth it, especially with my kids who just don't love the peels on potatoes. So it's worth it for me to actually peel them. Now, if you struggle with peeling potatoes, my trick is to hold the ends and slice the middle first to peel all the edges around then grip it and start peeling on the edges and just work in a circular motion where you are rotating the potatoes so that way you can get all the peel done once that end is done then you're going to flip it and do the other side making sure to keep that finger tucked in underneath so you don't accidentally accidentally cut it for this recipe i recommend three pounds of russet potatoes peeled and ready to go then we're going to slice them a quarter inch thick. I recommend a really good knife. I have it linked below and sharpening your knife before you actually use it. Once you've sharpened it, make sure you wipe it off and clean it off to get any of the shavings off. And then we're going to slice it. Now you can use a mandolin slicer to slice them equally. Um, I just broke mine and haven't replaced it. So I'm just using my knife. And that's why I highly recommend that you actually sharpen your knife first. It will make it a lot easier if you sharpen it first. You do want the potatoes to be sliced as equally as possible so that way they evenly cook. I'm aiming for about a quarter inch thick, but the goal is to try to get them equally the same. And if you can't, that is okay. And you can also invest in that mandolin slicer and I'll have it linked below as well. I highly recommend you use a bowl so that way you can store your sliced potatoes. You don't wanna throw it in the crock pot because since this is scallop potatoes, we're actually going to be layering them in them in now i know that watching me slice potatoes is kind of boring so i definitely sped this up for you <laughs> i cannot slice this fast as much as i wish that i could but you're going to slice everything equally i did want to take a minute to show you how i do the very ends of the potatoes once you get small i like to put my fingers on each side of it and then continue to slice it so that way you can still get those thin slices all the way down to the ends and you can use the entire potato. So even if you're using a mandolin slicer and it still becomes too thick, you can use this method so that way you get those perfectly sliced potatoes. Today I'm using a six quart slow cooker with a ceramic insert, but any kind will work. They even have the crock pot casseroles that will work great as well. I'm gonna spray it with non-stick spray 
and layer in our sliced potatoes. We're going to put about a third of our potatoes layered into the bottom of the crock pot. Now you're just going to eyeball it and that's why I like having the potatoes in the bowl so that way it makes it easier for you to eyeball it. But try to separate the potatoes, the slices, so that way they'll cook evenly and lay a thin layer. Then we're going to pour a third of that cream mixture that we started off with and then we're going to top with a third of our cheddar cheese. Now, I didn't show this in the video, but I do like to hand shred my cheddar cheese instead of buying pre-shredded. I highly recommend you do this because it will make the creamiest and best potatoes. And then we're going to top with Parmesan cheese. I'm not so picky about Parmesan. You can buy the pre-shredded or the grated and it will work great. Then we're going to continue layering. Another third of the potatoes goes in. Again, when you're layering those potatoes, make sure you separate each slices so that way it'll cook evenly because if you leave them directly on top of each other, you might as well have just sliced them thicker and they'll take longer to cook. Once those potatoes are in, we are going to add another third. It's just going to be about half of that mixture left of that cream mixture that we mixed up, half of the remaining cheddar cheese. And remember, we're using the hand shredded. We're going to sprinkle it across the top. And then we're going to add half of the remaining Parmesan cheese. It's going to seem like a lot, but remember, these are cheesy scallop potatoes. So we do need cheese in this recipe. Oh, love me some Parmesan cheese. Okay, we're almost done and we're down to the last level. We're going to dump in the rest of the potatoes, separate them and make a thin layer on top. Pour the remaining of that cream mixture that we made at the beginning. I like to do a last whisk just to make sure any of the seasonings that might have fell to the bottom. Pour it on top. We're going to add the remaining cheddar cheese. Just dump it in there and get it all out and spread it evenly across. And then add the remaining Parmesan cheese. Now you can always add your own different kinds of cheeses here. We're just using cheddar. But once you've made this recipe, you can completely make it your own. As you can see, everything is coated and layered and it's ready to cook. Add the lid and cover and cook on high for three to four hours until the potatoes are tender. It tends to need to cook until about four hours to get those potatoes nice and tender. You could try cooking this on low, but I have never done that. Um, but I would definitely think it would take the full six to eight hours to cook. And then come back when you're ready to eat. Look at the edges, they begin to crisp up. Everything is melted and your potatoes are fork tender. It smells so good. I love scalloped potatoes. And now that we can make it in the slow cooker, I never use my oven for them because it is so much easier and they taste amazing every single time. Now, this is, you can get the full recipe. I have it linked in the description below or you can just go to eatingonadime.com and search Crock-Pot uh, Scalloped Potatoes and it'll pull up right for you. Now, there's so many different ways that you can make these potatoes and you can make them completely different. The easiest thing if you want to make them a little bit different is to use um, a different kind of cheese. So today we did Parmesan and cheddar cheese, but mozzarella cheese would be really good. A very sharp cheddar cheese would be delicious. Um, and you can even add in like a pepper jack, something to give it a little bit of spice. But honestly, I like this recipe just as it is. It's time to eat it. Now, this recipe is amazing for all the holidays. It's super popular on our website around Thanksgiving, Christmas, and Easter, but we love it year round. Anytime you're going to a potluck or you just need to bring a side dish, this is perfect. It's so simple to make and everybody is gonna love it. Gotta let it cool for a second. Mmm. Mmm. Perfectly tender, perfectly tender, with the perfect amount of cheese and potato ratio. Oh, I'm a big fan, guys. Okay, make sure you like, whoa, make sure you like this video and subscribe because you don't want to miss any more of our simple but delicious recipes. Thanks so much for joining me today, and I'll see you next time in my kitchen. Bye, friends. Mm.